While crawfish boils are months away, the crawfish season is kicking off as producers begin to flood their ponds and crawfish emerge from their summer burrows. But in southwest Louisiana, fields are dry because of a problem with surface water used to fill ponds. Now that we're moving into the time of flood up for crawfish ponds, uh, the, some of these salinity levels are too high for these individuals to use as the, their irrigation water. Fontenot has found salinity levels in some canals as high as 11,000 parts per million. He recommends producers should not use any water with salinity levels higher than 3,000 parts per million. We're afraid at this point you will have um, death losses both to your stubble or your green rice and uh, to your young crawfish that will be emerging from the burrows. Fontenot says the trouble spots are primarily limited to areas south of I-10 where canals are interconnected with the intercoastal waterway. Alan McLean is being affected by the salt water and he believes it will impact his operation. I think there will be quite a few couple hundred acres that we won't even uh, continue to fish this year or we might flood up just to see but it won't be for a prolonged amount of time. Fontenot recommends that producers using well water take measures to elevate oxygen levels to help young crawfish survive. You want to do whatever you can as such as aerate the water, break up those water droplets to pick up oxygen and uh, get that uh, increased level in your ponds. Producers are hoping that beneficial rainfall will help their fields and reduce the salinity issues they are now facing. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting. Louisiana had 260,000 acres of crawfish ponds last year, and it remains to be seen how many acres will not be fished this year because of the saltwater issues.